Christ Almighty. We uh, are headed up right now into the Coast Range because where we go up around Escada is still kind of smoldering right now and it's partially reopened, but we'll, we'll probably give it another couple weeks. And uh, this is a pretty scary drive through here because there's still active logging going on. You never know what around one of these blind corners it could just be a massive freaking logging truck. It's pretty scary. But, uh, Beautiful country. This is cool. This is super cool. <laughs> right or left? I don't know. There's a uh, logging equipment down on that ridge. Yeah, let me see that on there. This is freaking cool. Wow. It's like dizzying. I actually feel dizzy. This is so freaking high up and awesome. I don't really want to stay here because it's right off the main road. But man, is this beautiful. This is neat. Wow. wow. This is super cool. So this road right here. Oh. All kinds of big foots and black bears live out here. Yeah, this is definitely Oh, what? Birds. Big old birds. Hmm. Well, this is our old uh, camp we stayed at last spring. Last uh, summer, it was yeah. August, I think. Yeah, or, yeah, it was August. It was August, yeah, it was like 90 degrees. Yeah. And, uh, there's a it cool little year that no one's been here since August of last year, which is over a year ago. Yeah. Maybe one or two people, but, I mean, it's exactly like we left it. Oh, yeah, it's desolate. Way out in the middle of nowhere in the coast range. So, oh. sweet, man. Heck yeah. Boom. Oh. We are rednecks, <laughs> but we're also Arnold Outdoors. Hello. <laughs> we are in the woods once again, and it's been raining. Yeah, it's definitely damp. But uh, 
It is freaking very beautiful up at this spot and very quiet, very quiet. <clears throat> and uh, we are in the middle of friggin' nowhere too. Yeah, like uh, we might have already mentioned, we came here last year in August and it's now September, so it was a little over a year ago. And, uh, which is crazy, it seems like it was just a couple months ago, but, um, and stayed here for the whole weekend, and it, it was a really nice spot. Um, there's all kinds of game trails going off back behind you. Oh, and there's two of them over there, a couple over here. There's a creek that runs back behind here, but yeah. it's a, it's a half a mile hike down some pretty rugged, uh, or more. Yeah, 45 degree, uh, slopes back there, but. Yeah, this is, uh. They bermed it off right here, and this is now the dead end of the road. It's and it's super landing. overgrown and thick, but you can, maybe tomorrow we might uh, bushwhack our way down past the berm down into the creek. Um, because the road actually crosses the creek, it goes up this other ridge back here. Mm -hmm. I've scouted it on the maps before. But uh, I don't know if there's like an old bridge down there, or if it just gets shallow where you can drive across the creek, or what, what the situation is with that. So that'll be really neat if there's like an old bridge down there or something. And this was all logged years ago. Not exactly sure when, but they're still doing active logging across the valley here. We can see the logging operation over there. It's a, a good mile and a half away. It looks way closer than it is. It uh, looks close, but yeah, I'd say it's probably about a mile and a half. Yeah, they were uh, relentlessly going at it last time we were here. We could hear chainsaws all the way up until dark. A past dark? Yeah. Or until like midnight. Yeah, they had lights on over there, which seems really dangerous cutting trees down after dark, but they were uh, going at it over there. So, but this is a neat spot. We like it a lot. It's uh, not super eventful. There's no yeah, like creek or crazy views, but it's really secluded. And there's animals here. We've Lots seen deer. Of animals. There's elk all over around here be nice to get some on video but, but uh, we might go for a walk or like we said go for a bushwhack tomorrow see if we can make it down to the creek but there's game trails all over around spreading out from here but it's pretty rough terrain it, it uh you're either going really far down or really high up you know <laughs> it's like yeah this is just a like an old logging logging area here probably a good 80 or 90 years ago when it was logged. The trees are, yeah, they're on average around 70 to 80 feet. So it's it's been quite a while. Yeah. But it's all second or third growth, you can tell. And so, it's starting to do the bad thing a yeah, little bit. That's all right. We better get the camera out. Yeah. <laughs> well, nice talk. Yeah. It's starting to do the uh, R thing that it's popular here in Oregon. So. <laughs> Not riot. Yeah. Rain. Yeah. That's popular here too, though. Funny, it's blue sky. Uh huh, that's what I had it pointed at. It's all blue sky. Over there. The lucky one with the cloud. Sweet. Safety zone for you. I like it. All right, we got to try to make food somehow. It's rainy and shitty, and we need to start a fire. Most of our stuff we're making is on the little stove, but uh, since we only brought our mess kits, the only way we have to cook burgers really would be on the fire. Yeah, put barbecue briquettes that I brought. In the rain, starting the fires. Difficult. Yeah, but we'll be able to do it. We'll be able to get this. Well, there's, well, there's a way. We just gotta borrow some of the uh, rocks from over here. <laughs> we gotta uh, keep it in our dry little area here. Very little area. Yep. Well, we'll get it. We just gotta make sure there's some airflow. Which is how you. How you place the stuff like that. 
like so. After we get it going. But right now we gotta build a fire underneath there. And the trick is starting this fire. <laughs> so I got an egg carton. I got charcoal briquettes. So we're gonna make little black eggs. Get this to work this way. As seen on YouTube. As seen on YouTube. Trying it out. Try to get this. I mean, it's the only way I could think to get them to, to burn fast or to actually light all the way. So let's do that. Most of the time in the videos I've seen, they cut it in half and use six at six at a time. Well, I'm just gonna put the whole uh, thing on top. I'm gonna build a fire underneath it. I'm gonna put the whole thing on top. I'm gonna try to build a little fire underneath there. As soon as it all burns away, the briquettes will be on top. Then I'll just pick this up, dump them in there, add some more, let it go for a little bit, and we should have enough fire to cook a couple burgers on there. We are in the clouds. <laughs> in the clouds. Here comes the fog. It's raining. So we used all our garbage that we collected on the way up because we had McDonald's on the way. You have to start yelling because of the rain here yeah, in a minute. It's going to get loud. So I'm going to put that. I'm going to add a couple more on the top. Fingers crossed. Yep. We'll see how this works. Forgot our flipping torch. I can't believe it. Always do. Yep. We've forgotten it more than we've actually brought it. I know. We got rain getting all over everything here still. Uh, we'll see what happens here. We're either gonna have uh, chili burgers or we're not. Either we're gonna have chili burgers or we're gonna have chili. Yeah, just chili. <laughs> we're gonna try. Okay. And we're gonna the fucking rope right here. <laughs> Alright. This is like fire starter rope stuff. It's the kind you see on Facebook all the yeah. time. Waterproof. Mm -hmm. And it better be waterproof because this shit's getting soaked right now. Yeah, bring on the freaking rain! <laughs> Try to fuck this over even more. You know, I just flip open my phone and check the weather, and it's like, I always forget, you know, how far away this is from Portland, so yeah, I always just check. Like 60 miles, 50 miles, something like that. But it's like a whole different, eco, you know, yeah, it's whole a whole different, different biome, biome if you're a gamer. Right. <laughs> <laughs> totally, it's, it's the coast range, it's wet here, and I always just check the weather for Portland without thinking about it, and I'm like, oh, it just says light sprinkles, and then it's going to dry out. Not realizing that it's going to be totally different in the coast range than it's yep. going to be in Portland, you know. But, here's hoping. We got fire! We're going to act like it was like... Uh the end of the world or something. We were going to film one of those stupid YouTube videos where it's like beep, <laughs> beep, beep. Like... North Korea just attacked America, uh -huh. and you got 20 minutes to get the hell out of Dodge. So we basically just came up with what was in the truck, and, yeah. and we stopped at one little market, and that was it. We just went with what we had. Yeah. So, and here we are. And it's raining. Just grabbed our uh, same bags that we used for Huxley Lake, and a few other little odds and ends, and hit the road. But this is cool. It's fun. Here we are. It's an adventure. It is an adventure. And I think this is going to work, and we're going to have burgers here soon. All right, here we go. Boom. Booyah. That's an elk. Smile, motherfucker. <laughs> wow.
And you have a little dry sanctuary like we do. Yep. Camping in the rain is actually some of the funnest. Oh yeah. When you can stay dry. When you can stay dry, which we are beautifully dry. And it is storming Norman out here. But it's not as bad as the pop-up makes it sound, but it's wet. Yeah, it is wet. <laughs> but we're good, man. We're like in a cloud. Yeah. The cloud has came and sunken down upon us. <laughs> All right. So we have our precious hamburgers on. Voila. And they're doing good in our makeshift little barbecue pit. <laughs> so uh, we'll be back in a few when they're getting more tasty. I think the burgers are done. Now here we go. Boom. Our little barbecuer thing made it. I'm going to be like uh, barbecue pit boys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now here we go. These turned out good. Boom. So I know I don't usually do voiceovers, but this was just something really neat that I noticed and I thought I had to point it out. So I've sped this clip up, but the original is about seven or eight minutes long. And you can see just how quick it gets dark. It's pretty neat. set the ready light up here in a minute yeah, it's getting pretty dark out here tonight. and I need to pull you guys out of the rain okay. it's, it's wet out here very wet and very uh, itchy moist dreary smell the ocean air from here where we're at we're very close to the ocean yeah with the clouds yeah, yeah. totally Looks good. Yeah. You can see it. I show them mine too, yeah. Yeah. No so bread good. or nothing, but it'll fill you up, I hope. Yeah, Ooh, that's hot. Got fresh grown tomatoes in it. Yep, homegrown, totally. The rain is coming down. <laughs> of course. A clean plate. <laughs> that was delicious. Getting dripped on like a motherfucker, so hurry Three up. Inch slip. Christ almighty. Yeah, I'm gonna be bruised tomorrow. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> and I thought it'd be better than your little. Yeah, the fireball was horrendous, dude. That's gonna be a good replay. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> yeah. Bastard. You got frizzle fried. <laughs> y'all here's our little uh paradise cove our bitty by spot this is where we're sleeping tonight this is what you call overlanding at its best the back of monk's truck and it is so comfy and cozy <laughs> especially when it's raining 
especially when it's raining because you get that rain coming down on the roof. It is so nice and cozy. All right, it's like, uh, what time is it, you think? It's like 12.30? 11.30. Really, 11.30? It feels so much later than it is. Yeah. But uh, we're heading to bed and uh, downloaded some Netflix movies like The Good, Bad, and The Ugly and a few other ones. So we're going to just chill and watch some movies, go to bed, and uh, get up tomorrow. And depending on the weather, maybe we'll hike down to the... Uh, to the creek, or more likely, we'll probably just uh, do some more driving around on the way out and see if we can uh, explore a little bit. So, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Good morning. <laughs> Slept okay last night, but uh, I'm ready to eat some food, get some coffee, and get out of here, get back into town, and chill. But, uh, beautiful spot right now. Well, and it's uh, 10.30. We <laughs> slept in pretty late. All right. We've been invaded by hunters all morning. Tis the season. And they think that in order to get that big buck, they gotta go way out in the middle of nowhere, which leads them to us. And uh, so we're just gonna take off and get out of here because we're being pestered to death. But as you can see... <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but when they're rolling into your camp early in the morning, you're still sleeping. So we're leaving it cleaner than we found it. Well, with the addition of our little campfire. But <laughs> what can you do?